Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ron, and it's nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by. With all the travel restrictions still in place, Melissa and I decided to do a day trip up to New York, about an hour and a half from us, to a place called the Hawk's Nest. The Hawk's Nest is basically a scenic overlook outside of Port Jarvis, New York, which sits just above the Delaware River off of New York State Route 97. It's a great picture location, but to get the photo I wanted, I knew that we're gonna to have to get up extra early to avoid much of the traffic driving down this highway on Sunday. Now here's the final photo that I got, and I'd love to hear your initial reactions to it below in the comments, so feel free to fill them out. But I want you to also stay to the end of the video because I did a bunch of tweaks and edits, both in Lightroom and in Photoshop, so stay till the end, I'd really appreciate it. Now, I had never been to this location before, so I wasn't too sure on the parking. It's a really narrow road, and I wasn't sure if anyone else would even be there. Needless to say, when Melissa and I did arrive at sunrise, there were already probably six to seven photographers already set up and ready to shoot. It wasn't quite what I was expecting, but if you go, just be prepared for something similar. Not only that, but it was really foggy out that day and it was about 27 degrees, uh, one of the coldest mornings yet, at least in New Jersey. Now, I did bring my Mavic Air with me as well as my FPV quad, but with the narrow roads and the limited takeoff and landing areas, I wasn't really that comfortable getting the FPV out and flying it around this particular area. I did, however, manage to get some great shots of the Delaware River with the Mavic Air. Now the fog never really lifted while Melissa and I were there and we were probably there a good two to two and a half hours uh, before we decided to pack it in and we did meet a gentleman from Canada who said he had driven the previous night before and he was planning on staying uh, all day if he needed to get the shot. He actually drove down from Canada. So if you go to this location, be prepared to meet some folks from out of state. And after Melissa and I finished up over at the Hawk's Nest, we drove about 40 minutes south of where we were. It was on our way back. We hit another great scenic location if you're looking for some fall photos called the High Point State Park. Great location if you wanna check that out as well. Uh, the leaves are really turning nice up there, just something to keep in mind. And before we got home, I also stopped off at a spot to fly my FPV, and I'm finally feeling comfortable strapping on the GoPro Hero 7 Black to my Rotor Riot HD1. And I just wanted to spend a little time this weekend brushing up on my skills and tweaking some of my GoPro settings to get that nice cinematic footage that I've been looking for. And in case you're interested, below I'm gonna put a list of all my GoPro Hero 7 settings. It's gonna be different than the GoPro Hero 9 that just came out. Um, there's some things in the 9 that aren't in the 7, so just keep that in mind. But the GoPro Hero 7 Black is the one that I'm currently using, and it certainly gets the job done. And that's really all there is for this particular video. Oh, before I do go, I did promise you the before photo. Uh, before I did all the edits in Lightroom and Photoshop, so here that is. And I was hoping for better weather, but that fog just wasn't going away that morning while I was there. A bunch of cars and trucks were also pulled off to the side of the road. Something else to be on the lookout for. You're gonna wanna get there early, especially if you're going on a weekend, weekdays. I couldn't tell you what it's like, but a lot of cars, a lot of photographers, and um, chances are you're gonna have to edit a lot of that out of your photos if you do go to this particular location. Very beautiful location, just be prepared to do some editing. And if you're an active subscriber, I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you're not, I hope you'll really think about subscribing. Don't forget to like, give it a big thumbs up. It's always appreciated, it really helps the channel. And don't forget to click that bell for future video notifications. And until next time, fly safe, and remember in 2020, we still got this. Okay, about that short clip in the beginning, I bumped the arm disarm switch. Yep, did it again. It's about the fourth time I've done this now. My new Freewell ND8 filter didn't survive the crash. Fortunately, I still have three other ND filters in the package. Should I be showing you guys all these crashes? I don't know if it's discouraging or you appreciate it seeing what other people are going through. Let me know in the comments about that as well. And again, if you wanna click that like button, 
helps me uh, replace some of the gear I keep breaking. Thanks guys. Thank you.